Well, welcome everyone. My name is Missy and I am so glad that you are here today for my first Christmas decorating video of 2024. And we're gonna start it outside. We're going to be doing my front porch. We're going to be doing my chicken area and my fire pit area. Now, of all days that I have planned to do this, it is kind of raining. It hasn't rained here for days and days and days. But today it is, but we're gonna work with it. I am ready to work. My hair is up. I'm ready to go. The girls are ready to get festive. I hope that this video gets you in the mood for Christmas, gets you some decorating ideas and some inspiration. A lot of the items that you will see out front on my porch are thrifted and antiques. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. That's really what it's all about. Let's all get ready for Christmas. Well, yes, welcome into our small, simple, cozy country home. I am so glad that you are here today, but I got to tell you, I'm not the most graceful girl. As you just saw there, I was bending over, putting a big sack of sand on the back of my tree on the bottom so that it will not blow over in the wind because we have crazy wind where we are. We are on top of a hill in a rural area, and so we get some crazy winds. I do hope that you enjoy this video today, that it gives you some decorating ideas and inspiration for your home and again like I said in the beginning that we just have a lot of fun if you are new here and this is one of my first videos that you are ever watching again hey my name is Missy I'm so glad that you are here and I share thrifting videos and home decorating videos and I share videos three times a week so if you enjoy this and if you enjoy that kind of content I would love for you to become a part of our family here This tree was a recent thrifted find. I was so happy about it. It was $40 and I just love it here on my porch. And then this also, another thrifted find. I believe I got this at Goodwill for $12.99. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to change it up. I have a covered porch and I'm going to put that little electric fireplace on my porch and create this cozy little nook. When I showed hubby when I was done with everything, on the front porch that was his first word it's so cozy so that was exactly a feeling I was going for I love that feeling throughout my home and yeah I just love using this little electric fireplace on our porch I do really enjoy in my decorating to bring the outside inside and the inside out, which is kind of what I was going for here on my porch. I also have a vintage booth and I really enjoy to do these different little eclectic displays with all of these items I have thrifted and gotten at antique stores throughout the year. I just really enjoy to do that. I think that it really creates a lot of interest and character. So yeah, just a tip, bring the outside in and the inside out. I think that you will have a lot of fun with that.
This is the start of my decorating videos for Christmas 2024, and I have several more to come for you. So today we're doing everything outside. I will also be decorating our bedroom, our living room, dining room, kitchen, and laundry room. So not the bathroom yet. We were hoping to have that remodel done, but we ran into some issues with the floor, and that has kind of set us back a little bit. But you will see decorating videos in all of those areas, and of course, the living room will include our Christmas tree. I hope that what you are seeing so far is giving you some decorating inspiration and some different ideas, especially if you do like to go thrifting. And the great thing about thrifting is all of the unique items that you get, and then you just bring them all together. And this stand here was also something that I thrifted. A lot of these items are, like I said, it is absolutely beautiful, and I love how it looks on the porch. And here I'm putting these lights on, and I should have mentioned this in the beginning. I went against the mold, and I am using the multi-lights this year on my front porch and inside my house. I thought that that would be a fun twist and really is there anything more nostalgic and vintage than the original multi lights While I am out thrifting, I am going to look for some more things to put on this red stand. I have a tin sitting on the top and I do have some rocks in there to weight it down again because of the wind, but I would like to find, I think, something else to sit on the top of this stand. So I will be looking when I am outside thrifting or maybe I'll look for a little tree or something to put in there but yeah there's definitely a lot more I could put on the shelf and then there I was just showing you that I would really like to be able as well to hide that cord so maybe if I could find something to stand right there it would kind of block that out and then my little kitty bells I have to finish off the door by hanging those I think that's absolutely adorable that is another recent find I think I paid two dollars for that one
So what do you guys do to get in the Christmas spirit? Do you watch YouTube videos? Do you simply start decorating your own homes? Do you like to get and read a good Christmas book? Do you like to just start listening to Christmas music, Christmas videos, or movies? Let me know down in the comments, what do you do to start to get yourself into that Christmas spirit? I would love to hear about it. I'm sure that there are some really unique ways that you guys do that out there, so I would really love to chat about that with you down in the comments below. As you can see, we are now out in my chicken coop area and the girls love to get festive and this year we decided to go with the Grinch. And I think next year I'm going to put a little twist on this and do something like Whoville, like the town of Whoville. So stay tuned for that coming for next year. I think that will be a lot of fun and I've already talked to hubby about some things that we can DIY for out here for next year for that. So, you know, the girls need a Whoville Christmas tree and the archway and all of that stuff from the original cartoon. So stay tuned, thumbs up, things are looking good. I love how this chicken area turned out. I will, of course, show you all of these things that I am decorating during the day, but you also see them at night in the dark so that you can see how everything is lit up. Here I am going to be decorating the little trees that we have planted in our chicken fence area. We actually have three apple trees planted out there and this year they were big enough to put some lights in so I'm excited about that because it will, it will bring some lights down to this side of the chicken area. They actually have a very large fenced in area which I am happy about because that gives them plenty of room and then when we moved in here this birch tree that I am decorating was really small until the chicken started living around it and it just kind of took off with the life around it. Here I am struggling. The struggle was real to put these candy canes down in the ground but never fear when hubby came home he went ahead and took care of all of that and he took care of setting up all of the extension cords and lights for me as well. We already had these white lights so I wanted to put them to use. I'm using these cable ties to zip tie them to like little planter hangers that I have there throughout the entire year. And then this is just a little tip for you so that you don't have that gap in your lights. I go ahead and zip tie a section of that together so you don't have that big portion in your lights when they're lit up where there isn't anything. I hope I explained that and that it made sense. This sled is a find that you guys have not seen yet. I did record some footage or I have been recording footage for you for Thriftmas coming up in December where I share a thrifting Christmas related video every day. I've never done that before. I'm really excited about it coming up this year. Now here are all the lights at night and it is magical.
I'm going to take you around the back side of the coop. Here is where that whirl of motion went. I did not show you, you know, me putting that in the ground because it really wasn't, well, it wasn't going to be very fun to see. But here it is in action, in motion. It's on the back side of their coop. So all sides of the chicken coop have some Grinch decor and some festiveness. So this looks really cute. And when you come up our lane, you can actually see that on the back of the coop. The holidays are right around the corner as of today, November 7th. I am recording this voiceover. I cannot believe how close everything is getting, but I do want to say thank you so much. I know this is an even busier time of year, and I thank you so much for spending time with me today. Take care, my family.